Hi, this is what you're looking at with another video. Today, we are having my new high speed loadout with my GNG GR16. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, basically, I'm saying this is a high speed loadout. What I mean by that is that, you know, when you're out in the field, you're going to be able to be out there longer, run faster, not be as hot because you're going to have less gear on, which is, you know, going to, you're not going to be fatigued as fast. Okay, first off here with the lightweight going with the GNG GR16, as I said in the review, it's only a five pound gun, especially with its size, good for field, good for CQB. FPS is perfect for both, right at 350. So that's going to be the gun to use. Also, this might be a con for some. No backup weapon. I'm completely confident that that gun's going to last long enough, and you'll see some other stuff in the loadout that's going to help me keep it that way. Second off with high speed, hydration bladder. I'm not going to have to stop and reach for a water bottle. I'm going to have this right on my back, so I'll be ready to get some water when I'm thirsty. And that holds two and a half liters, so I'll be ready to go. Got the Shemag here, that's basically be protection for my neck. If I'm sweating, I can use that, wipe a little bit off, but I can also choose not to use that. That's really not essential for the loadout. Okay, moving on to complement the gun color. I'm using a black shirt, and I know you're thinking, well, you have OD Shemag and a Dark Earth gun. Well, personally, as long as I'm not going overboard on either one, I think they look decent together. Okay, moving on to my actual rig. Is just an old waist belt. On the right side, you're going to see this little utility pouch. On the inside of that, a dead rag, a thousand extra BBs. Of course, they're going to be 0.20s or 0.23s, and 350 FPS. That's going to be pretty much good range. Defog, an extra battery just in case I need it. And then, of course, since I'm using defog, I'm going to have these goggles. Going on to what's going to be on my left side. Three magazine pouches. Each one's going to have a high cap. And then I'm going to have the high cap that I have out in the gun, of course, is going to be in my pocket or somewhere else when I'm not playing. So, magazine or BB capacity I'm going to have out in the field, uh, readily available, is going to be probably about 1,500 because I have three 300 round mags and the one 450. So, I'm pretty much going to be set to go out in the field. Oh, yeah, they should probably hold more like 330. Also, half finger gloves and all of course you gotta have a dump pouch that's pretty much essential at least for me especially with this loadout since there's gonna be no molly to put the uh, the magazines back into and the dump pouch just makes you faster okay now we're actually gonna see what I look like when I have all this stuff on in a demonstration of it okay here's the setup here as I said less stuff on the chest they're gonna cool down more especially in 80 to 90 degree weather like over here in Virginia in the summer, especially where I play, we're closer to the coast, so you're going to have hotter temperatures. As I said before, G&G, GR16, really lightweight, you know, you're going to be able to run this all day. Uh, just really simple, you know, going down to the basics, web belt, three mags, dump pouch, utility pouch, you know, keys, dead rag, whatever, and I like to keep the dead rag just hanging out that we want to get hit, pull it out right away so I don't get any extra hits on it. Okay, also, as you see here, I just got your standard uh, desert BD pants, nothing really special, and you're not seeing my shoes right now because I just have Vans on, but I would just wear my standard boots, you know, you can run in boots, really easy to do. So I'm going to just go ahead here and uh, show some reloads and some shooting in my loadout.